Welcome to day eight of the 14 day modeling challenge to bring you Printer Quest Rivals. And I think we're going to make it. Uh, I think that we are on the back end of things, but I think that I got enough time to finish all the things that I want to for this game. Now, I did say yesterday that I was going to work on a new character. However, I started working on the character, but I got to thinking about what would I need in order to actually play test this game and try it out. And one thing I thought about is the fact that I wanted the minis to be interchangeable between sides. So you could have these two characters on the same side in one game and then have them on different sides in another game. In fact, this in this game... I would be thrilled to see people making their own minis and putting them in this game and creating their own characters. I think that that is very in tune with the idea of print a block. However, I needed a way to distinguish the different teams during gameplay. And what I came up with was this. I 3D printed a little, essentially a one by one panel. It's very thin and it's got enough room for a connector, but only just, and you take that and you snap it into the base because these minis have a printer block connector on their base and there we go now this guy is red team for this game and then you can pop it out and change it around the other thing that i needed to work on in the original printer quest in the original version of printer quest there was a dice uh, i you played with a dice that you could pop the sides off and and change the configuration of the dice make certain things more or less likely and i really enjoyed that i thought that that was cool However, in play testing, that ended up not being very popular. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it so that you just roll a regular dice now. And you've got this little, uh, essentially a table that has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on it. And then you put on little markers for your team to, you know, essentially claim territory. Now, my initial thought was that this would mean that these, this side has these two, everything you know, to the end, and this team has this, so that if this team gains an advantage, they just move the marker up one, and now they get all of these. But I think that's silly. I think what I'm going to do is just print a whole bunch of these markers, and you can just claim your territory. You can even go out of order for, for all that it matters, and that way when you roll the dice, you just look at the table and say, ha-ha, I got that one, or you didn't. But now that I've got all of that worked out, tomorrow I'm probably going to spend some time play testing the game a little bit and hopefully doing some modeling as well. So join me here tomorrow for day nine of Printer Quest Rivals or whatever.